Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian, and today I'm showing you how to make this delicious, creamy shrimp pasta. It is so easy, that's why this video is so short, but let's get started and let's go straight into it. I'm gonna start off by boiling some water for my pasta. I'm gonna add salt and some olive oil. I'm also adding some olive oil to the pan so that can heat up. And then I am adding my linguine pasta to the water. Um, I'm using linguine. I only had some leftovers, so I didn't use as much as I usually would, but it was still enough at the end of the day. Um, I'm adding some garlic powder to the olive oil. You can also use fresh garlic. And then I'm also adding some chili flakes. I added a little more olive oil just because I used too much garlic powder. And then I'm adding my shrimp. So I'm using frozen prawns from Costco but you can use fresh prawns as well you can actually season them freshly that might be easier so I'm seasoning the prawns with some garlic powder Cajun seasoning and paprika powder and then I'm just flipping them over so they can cook on both sides um, as you can see I'm struggling a little bit because I was persistent to use a fork instead of some spatula try not to overcook the shrimps so if you overcook them they get like a little bit dry and chewy so um, try not to overcook them I wiped down the pan and added some olive oil again and now I'm adding my onions so we can get started on the sauce so the reason I left out the shrimps again is so that they don't overcook in the sauce so I've added some onions and then I'm sauteing my onions and I'm also adding a cube of frozen spinach. You can use fresh spinach as well. I just had frozen spinach in the freezer. And then I'm also adding some minced garlic. Again, mine is frozen because I like to prep my food, but you can also use fresh garlic here. I'm adding a little bit of water just because um, the frozen spinach wasn't melting as fast as I wanted it to. I was quite hungry. Um, and I didn't want to add more oil, so I just added water. Here I'm adding double cream. You can use any type of cream that you like. I prefer double cream. You can use single cream. You can use, I think it's called creme fraiche. Um, whatever you want to use for your cream base. I dissolved a Maggi cube in some hot water and added it to the sauce. And then I'm also adding some pasta water to the sauce. Um, because it helps with the consistency and the texture of the sauce so what you want to do is if the sauce gets too thick you can add a little bit of milk or a little bit of water just to make it thinner again um, and here I'm adding shredded cheese so this is going to make your sauce a lot thicker as well so that's why I just keep on adding things like water or pasta water to kind of make the sauce a little bit thinner and creamier and then lastly, I'm adding my seasonings. I'm using salt and black pepper, some garlic and herb seasoning, and some paprika powder. Also, just to add, you want to stir this sauce well because you don't want the cheese to stick to the bottom. And also, you want to cook it on medium to low heat because if you cook it on high heat, then the sauce will get very thick very quickly um, and you'll just find yourself kind of adding water over and over and over again so just leave it on low heat and let it simmer for a few minutes then I add my pasta stir it and I add the prawns at the end stir it again and then it's ready to plate I am obsessed with these bowls or plates or whatever you want to call them. I honestly haven't used any other plates since I got these. Anyways, I um, had some garlic bread on the side and of course had to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. And then I had a glass of rosé as, you know, our drink of choice. And that is it. It is super easy, super quick and so delicious. You can switch out the shrimps for chicken as well. It's just such a comfort meal and I love it. I just love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. 
Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.